Good morning students of standard 7. Today in English language we are going to continue with part 2 of phrases and clauses chapter 3. In the previous class we had seen what is the definition of phrases, the different kinds of phrases, explanation of a noun phrase and some examples of a noun phrase. Today we continue with the class. Let's just recall what we did. Noun, noun phrase, meaning of a phrase and clause, kinds of phrases, examples. All right. And explanation. Let us now proceed to know what a noun clause is. What do you mean by a clause? A noun clause is a group of words which contains a subject and a predicate of its own and does the work of a noun. How is it different from a phrase, children? A noun phrase also did the work of a noun. The only difference was it did not have the subject and verb combination. In a noun clause, it is again a group of words. But what is the difference? It contains a subject and a predicate of its own and does the work of a noun. Have you all understood? The only difference here is it has a subject and a predicate of its own. Noun clauses. What do you understand by subject and predicate? Do you remember subject and predicate? You all have done it in the lower classes. Just for your reference and remembrance, we recall what a subject is. It is names of persons or things we speak about in a sentence. What is it? Names of persons or things we speak about in a sentence is the subject. What is a predicate? The part of the sentence which tells us something about the subject is the predicate. Subject plus predicate makes a complete sentence. And in a noun clause, we have to understand that it is a group of words that has a subject and a predicate of its own. So subject is a noun that is the name of a person or thing about whom we are speaking in the sentence. And predicate is that part of the sentence which tells us something about the subject. I'm sure you remember all this you have done earlier. Just for your understanding, we are having some examples here. Now look at these examples. Subject, birds is the subject, the horse is white, my new watch keeps good time, little hurry and Mary. Now you can see birds is the name of a bird, of birds is birds, horse is the name of an animal. Watch is something you're talking about. Little Hari is a boy and Mary is a girl. So they are all nouns. They are subjects. Let's see what a predicate is then. Look at the sentence. Birds fly. Who flies? Birds. Who fly? Birds. Are you all understanding? So when you are, the predicate is complete, I mean a sentence is complete, only when I put the subject and the verb, predicate combination. Birds mm. fly. The horse is white. I wrote the whole sentence there. Now what is the part? The horse mm. is the subject. Is white mm. is the predicate. Mm. My new watch keeps good time. My new watch mm. is the subject. Keeps good time is the predicate. Little Hari is the cleverest boy in class. 
Who is the cleverest boy? Little Hari. So you can see only little Hari is the subject. And what are we talking about? The subject becomes the predicate. It's the cleverest boy in class. Mary had a little lamb. Who had a little lamb? Mary had a little lamb. So subject is that which tells you about the name of a thing, a person, place, whatever it is. And predicate is that part of the sentence which tells you something about the subject. Now we go to noun clauses. Look at the examples below. I expect to get a prize. I expect to get a prize. Now you see here I is pronoun. Expect is what? A verb. Expect to get. There is some expectation. Expect to get what? A prize. Expect what? What do I expect? Prize. Are you understanding? So when you ask the question you get the answer. Prize. I expect that I shall get a prize. What is the difference in these two sentences? In the first one, I expect to get a prize. Mm -hmm. To get a prize is a phrase. Expect what? To get a prize. I expect that I shall get a prize. What is the difference? I've added two words here. That and I've repeated the I. Now look at the second part of the sentence. I shall get a prize. I pronoun shall get tells you about the verb a article prize object i shall get a prize is a complete sentence where the subject is there pronoun i and there is the predicate shall get a prize so what is this the second sentence is a clause what do i expect i expect that i shall get a prize so I is preceded by that and that is what is making the sentence into a clause. In the first sentence, to get a prize does not contain a subject and a predicate of its own. To get a prize. What did you understand? To get a prize. There is no subject. It can be you, me, she, he, anyone. But in the second sentence, it is different. So in the first sentence we see there is no subject and no predicate. It is a noun phrase. That's the work of a noun. Let's look at the second sentence. In the second sentence, I expect that I shall get a prize. What happens? I shall get a prize contains a subject and a predicate of its own. I just now explained it to you. And hence, it is a noun clause. This clause is the object of the verb expect. What did I expect? To whom? What did I ask the question? What did I? I didn't ask. I asked the verb expect a question. What did I get as the object? It's the object of the verb expect. I shall get a prize. Is that clear, children? Next. Subject that you have come pleases me. Now look here. That you have come pleases me. What have I done? That you have come is the subject. Pleases me is the predicate. Is that clear? Now let's see. Subject of the verb pleases. Does the work of a noun. Please, what pleases me? That you have come. That you have come. What is pleasing me? That you have come. So subject of the verb pleases does the work of a noun. Hence it is a noun clause. Is that clear? The next one. I fear. I fear that. I fear that. What do I fear? I shall fail. I fear that I. Fear what? I shall fail. So predicate is 
subject of the verb fear does the work of a noun fear what that i shall fail next to summarize so we studied about a noun clause a definition subject and predicate how you break a sentence into a subject and a predicate conversion of phrases to clauses and you saw some examples of noun clauses is that clear children questions answer the following in your notebooks what is a noun clause explain the term subject and predicate underline the subject and circle the predicate in the following sentences my friend plays football i write a letter a tall girl was dancing on the stage there is nobody in the classroom swimming is a good exercise i am sure students you have understood all these what has been taught very well and i'm sure you'll be able to do this homework in your notebooks thank you sairam